hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to develop portal feature in odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about how to translate email templates in different languages please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the playlist you can see odoo development label is here different playlist you can see here with the different topic wise with the real test cases in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub, make sure you can follow. And we have some different social media pages, make sure you can follow to get the latest notification. So let's back to our main topic. Oh yes, and before that, we almost done all the possible translation features. You can see also playlist also available with the real test cases one by one all right so if you don't know how to translate from one language to another language in odo please check this playlist this would be very helpful to you in your development okay so here the first thing is let me open this my url okay when you click to this my url right after that you can see the documents and under this documents you can see these three menus available right the quotation sales order and invoice and bills right now you can also see here sales in a sales we have like different quotations available right almost 20 then after you can see the invoices also available like this right the four invoices so you can see current users quotation and sales order and the invoices it will display not all the invoices okay so this is the portal feature at the moment we logged in as an admin but here you can see like current users quotation sales order and invoices visible here okay and when i click to this quotation link it will display here this list view and when i click to this sales order you can see it will open the form view right so basically this is only for the portal user they don't have a backend access rights backend means this one so this one is the backend access rights right so if you don't want to provide such access rights in the backend side but yes you need you need to create at least to access own records as a read only right so you can try to create a portal access rights okay so like this way they can such users can see all the informations here using this my controller all right so we are trying to develop our custom student profile here also okay so we have to also create the same menu as a students and we have to also create this list view as well as this form view step by steps okay so let me first go to here in our custom add-ons you can see already we created here a lot of modules with the different topic let me try to create here a new module which is the portal feature and yes don't for, don't worry right now i'm using version 15 community version okay let me close this warning messages too and simple i will rename data to views and let me rename this xml file to let's say portal underscore template dot xml file and same i will try to replace here views like this right and simple i will also add portal module as a dependent module okay student portal copy this content and paste in summary and the description as well as and our category should be portal okay now we have enough data but let me comment this part let me remove this i18 6 at the moment because we don't need actually and yeah that's it 
now our portal module is ready now another thing is if you go to in the community add-ons right and if you search here portal there is a this is the main module right it's having a actual logic of the portal so what logic I mean is like this template right this whole template this this is the main menu in the portal and if you click here it will display here this list view right here you can see this home button bread scrum also available here then after sort by you can see here the sort by also available then after if you click to here you can access the form view also you can do many operations here right plus you can also write down here the chatter logs also you can do many operations either reject feedback or sign up and pay like this right it's the basic features i'm talking about so all the main logic right the core logic available inside this portal module so due to that we have to add as a dependent module here also okay another thing is we are not focusing about all these features at the moment we will see one by one all the topics all right so our first goal is we have to display here the main menu how you can add one main menu here for the student profile okay so for that you have to refer this under this portal views and this portal underscore template file you have to refer and here you can see a lot of templates available right from here you have to inherit i mean the extend such templates to produce this menu the list view the form view and all okay so simple we have to use this part this menu so let me copy this template i will not only copy this part but i'm trying to extend this part this template and here i will use this one okay and after that we have to use the x path and when i open you can see, see such template is available right now here you can see h3 tag is documents you can see this is the h3 tag and documents available after that you can see in the due tag right inside this menu so we have to extend this due tag so let me copy this part xpath expr and i will paste here double quote has class right and simple i will use something like this and position should be inside okay another thing is we have to provide our own menu like this such quotation or cell sort of like this right so for that like here we have to call one template portal dot let's say the portal docs entry right so this is the doc entries so what it does is you can see like this here we have to call this doc entries we have to use predefined variables such as a url title then after this placeholder count and all okay so for that simple i will use here oh sorry let me copy this id and paste here okay inside i will use here url so uh, sorry not like this url t desk and value should be here let's say my underscore students so this is our school uh, custom controller okay don't forget about this controller part you can add anything here as per your need then after i will use here set title and title should be students 
okay and this is the label name i mean the menu name here like this okay that's it at the moment oh sorry now i will try to install this module okay so for that i'm going to here in the apps update module list let's a wb portal and let me open this module and i will try to install this module it successfully installed and once i will refresh the screen you can see this student is available right and you can see it's when you when you hover here in the student profile right here you can see bottom of the screen here that url my slash students and when you click here you can see actually it's called this my slash students url right and actually that controller is not exist at the moment so due to that it says 404 okay and yeah this is not also compulsory okay so let me comment this part write this url part you can see it will display only simple text as a student not with the anchor tag yeah so let me upgrade this module right in the terminal here and if in case you don't know how to configure odoo with pycharm place track editor level playlist i already explained and once i will refresh the screen you can see it's simple student label is only here right so due to that we have to active this url okay now another thing is you can see here if you click here you can see one record so it display here one when you click to sales order you can see four records available right and when you go to home page you can see the four record is here so this one four and seven means total records how many records available you can see here okay so we have to also display here like how many records available so for that you have to go to in the portal and this is the actual controller part in the portal end okay and this is the class customer portal and simple you have to display uh, sorry you have to extend this method okay for this class so how you will do right so for that we have to create a one controller so let me go to here and let me add here this folder and i will use here like portal.py file in the init file let me add here this register or i mean the import this portal so we don't need to touch in the future now here uh, what we have to do is like we have to extend this class okay so for that we have to use here from odoo.addons.com portal dot controller dot portal as a file and here we have to use this class name and simple we have to use here web lens portal and simple we have to extend this class that's it and it's the controller class already extended in our custom module okay so rtn and simple i will use here the super class self dot simple i will use here oh i'm sorry not this one but this one def counters okay and we can just use here like we can add here the print statement and return rtn what it is we will see here okay So let's say something like this so we can recognize in the back end side all right now this controller package we have to compulsory 
add in this main init file so from dot import controller now let me restart the service let me maximize this terminal and i will try to refresh the screen all right now you can see it display it's called three times here right now here rtn i will use like student underscore counts so this variable we have to use here and if you remember in the backend odoo whenever we have to create any object right to call the custom methods or the ORM methods right dot search dot read dot fields view get write create right so for that we are using like this right school dot student but in controller side you don't need to use this self keyword otherwise if you are using the self it won't be work so here we have to use the request dot env and we have to use like this you have to remember this is the main point okay and simple that and for that we have to use here like import that request okay so it's from here like odoo.http and we have to use the request like this again let's say dot search underscore count and we don't need to provide any parameter at the moment I will use like this and simple we don't need to also print this statement and this part this student underscore counts we have to go to here we have to also use like we have to uh, replace one more field name which is like let's say plus holder underscore count so this is when you override this one and when you pass this variable name right from this controller from this method it will return the respective counts right let's say for quotation it should be one for sales order it should be four it will return any invoice and bills it's written as a seven for students it will automatically return let's say 13 okay here so let me restart the service plus upgrade the module let me close this part and i'm going to refresh the screen now you can see students and 13 the 13 records available right and when i click to here you can see it will automatically giving us a 404 error right so this is the menu we already created in the portal side successfully okay student mm -hmm. as a label name total records okay and we also replace the url so when in a future means in our next session we are trying to create this my slash students controller if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session